OMG, I am so, so happy that you are here with me today. Thank you so, so much for clicking on my video. It means the world to me. It's Jody Dunn and I'm coming at you with my most favorite CVS haul. <laughs> I think I say that every time, but seriously, this one was freaking incredible. Everything went as planned. There was no snags. I got, oh my gosh, so much incredible stuff. Some non-essentials and some essentials. And we'll go over if you are a couponer, if you are an extreme couponer, if you are really wanting to get stuff for super, super cheap or free, then you already know, and if you don't know, stick around because I wanna help you with this, that we pick up some non-essential things sometimes because they make us money and they help pay for the essential things that we really need in the household. So if you are new and you just found me, I am so dang happy you are here. Welcome. Would you please drop me right down there and say hi to me because I do wanna welcome you and I wanna thank you so, so much for subscribing and for watching the video. I'm just so pleased to have you. And if you're already a subscriber, hello, I'm so excited. Thanks again for watching my videos. Thank you for giving thumbs up. Thank you for your comments. I love them all. I read them all. I try to respond to all of them. I would love to know how you are doing today. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Michigan. Let me know what state you're from. I would love to know where the reach is and where everybody is. So you don't have to give me your address or anything. <laughs> Just tell me what state you are in. I would love to know that. Let me give you a little sneak peek. I still got some products over there I haven't put away. There's the sleepy dog. All right, before we get into this amazing haul that I am so dang excited to share with you, I got uh, like $170 in products, you guys. Hundred and freaking seventy dollars in products, and normally I don't pay anything cash out of pocket when I go to CVS because I use rebate apps that I cash in for gift cards, so that covers my tax and things like that. I did do that again today. I did use a rebate app for a gift card and had some extra bucks, but I did pay just a teeny little bit cash out of pocket that I needed to cover my tax. I just told you I got over $170 in products. I literally cash out of my bank account paid $1.35. <laughs> I love it better when it's zero, but I'll take $1.35. You're just not going to believe. Oh my gosh. I can't even wait to share some of these deals with you. But before we get into that really quick, I have a surprise. <gasps> I'm going to do another giveaway. I'm going to do a gift card giveaway, just an impromptu. Just really want to thank you so, so much because I appreciate you. And I know that things are a little bit challenging right now. Well, they're a lot challenging right now, but we have to be grateful for all of our blessings. And there's always something to be grateful for. And I'm there's just so many things I'm grateful for, but I'm super grateful for you and your support and you're watching my videos and you're thumbs upping it and you're commenting. And we just hit 2,500 subscribers. I can't even believe it. So I'm gonna do a $10 gift card giveaway to your choice wherever you like to shop. And if you're a couponer, you already know you can stretch $10 a long dang way and I'm so excited to be able to do this and give back to you guys. Now, I'll tell you how to enter real quick, but the one thing that I do wanna say is if by chance we do hit 3,000 subscribers, by the time I do the drawing, I think we can, I really do, um, which I'll do the drawing probably either on Sunday or Monday when I go over my Walgreens haul, whether that's a faux Walgreens haul like I did before, or I actually go to the store because there are some things I need to pick up. So I will do that on Sunday or Monday. And the way that you can help, if you want to help, grow the channel is make sure you're sharing my video with somebody you think could get value out of it. Every time you comment, every time you give it a thumbs up, YouTube says, oh, people are liking this video. Let's show it to more people. So that's just another way you can help grow this channel if you get some value out of my videos and you enjoy them. 
So if we do hit 3,000 by the time I post my Sunday or Monday haul, then I'll do two. I'll do two gift card giveaways. So all you got to do to enter, super simple. You got to give the video a thumbs up. You got to be subscribed to the channel. And if you already are subscribed, make sure you have that bell notification clicked so that when I do post new videos and do like surprise giveaways like this or even planned giveaways or if I post on my community tab or if I go live, which I still have to do that, you get notified. I don't want you to miss out on being able to enter a giveaway or miss out on maybe a great deal that I post and maybe you don't see the video for a few days and it expired. So, all right, so you got to be subscribed. You got to give the video a thumbs up. And all I want you to do is comment down below because we are in such challenging times right now. What blessing have you found through all of this? What are you so grateful for that maybe you took for granted before? Because we all do that, right? We all take, I mean, let's talk about toilet paper. We sure as heck all took that for granted that we could just go to the store and buy it whenever we needed it or wanted it. It's super hard to find now, right? So that's just one example of things that we took for granted before because it wasn't an issue and now it's an issue. So I am super, super grateful. One huge blessing that has come out of this is definitely more family time. We've been playing more games. We started playing spoons. Oh my gosh. Let me know what your favorite family game is. I freaking love spoons. I'm super competitive though. So I'm always like trying to grab the spoon. <laughs> but we've been playing Monopoly, um, Uno, spoons. And last night the girls were like, we should do a puzzle. Well, Donna said we should do a puzzle. So I'm going to look on Amazon today and see if we can order a puzzle to do together as a family. I haven't done a puzzle in years. I think that would be so much fun. So I am so grateful, even though we are in challenging times, I'm going to find the blessings. I'm going to find what I can be grateful for. So I want to hear what you are grateful for down in the comments and maybe something again that you took for granted before because it was just available or there every day or something you just didn't give a second thought to. And now you're like, wow, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful I have toilet paper and I don't have to worry about trying to hunt it down. And then really quick, I just want to tell you, because cleaning supplies and things have been so challenging to find, you may already know this, but just in case I want to share with you, one place that I really wasn't looking too much was Rite Aid. And my mom actually told me what day our local Rite Aid gets their truck in and what she has been doing. So I went First thing in the morning, right when they opened, like I was in the parking lot as they were pulling the gates up to open the door and went in and oh my gosh, look what I found. Look what I found. We didn't have any. You could only get one, which was totally fine with me, but I was able to snag this. I was able to snag a container of Clorox disinfectant wipes and I was able to snag a Lysol disinfectant multi-purpose spray cleaner. I couldn't even believe it. I got three things. You could only get like one of each. So, so grateful. If you haven't been looking at Rite Aid and you need these types of supplies, try to find out when your store like puts out their new products. I was able to get them. I was so, so grateful and happy. So I did make a run to CVS and picked up some essentials and some non-essentials. Ah, so excited to share with you. I hope you join the giveaway. Do not go out unless you have an essential that you need. This video, number one, is for entertainment purposes. I hope it gives you something to watch. And number two, educational purposes. If you've been wanting to learn how to coupon at CVS, or you just love watching coupon videos, or you know, wondering how people save so much money, let's talk about it because I wanna help you save money, especially right now during a time when so many people are desperate to save money. Okay, so let's get into this amazing haul that I had. Okay, here is the amazing haul that I had at CVS. $174.50. And 
73 cents worth of product. OMG, we are going to go over some absolutely incredible and amazing deals. And Gus has moved to the floor now. <laughs> <laughs> always right by me. All right. So we picked up some definitely non-essential items, which are going to be the makeup and things like that right here. And I'm going to tell you why, because they were such humongous money makers. OMG. Like you're not even going to believe it. I couldn't even believe it. Sometimes when you get, okay, we all know when you are shopping at CVS, your CRTs definitely make your deals. And the longer you shop at CVS, the more you will start getting CRTs and the better they will start getting. So I have now reached a point where I am getting some absolutely insane and incredible CRTs that allowed me to make this whole entire haul free plus a dollar 22 moneymaker. And the big bulk of the moneymakers we're right here. Like absolutely humongous. You're not going to believe it. Okay, let's go over it. So this is my main card that I shopped with today. And I make sure that you're really looking at your CRTs because I'm going to give you one example. I've been getting a CRT every single week, which is $10 off when you spend $35 on Maybelline. And I was like, no, thank you, CVS. I am not spending freaking $35 on Maybelline. Well, I did today. Why? Because the sales were good enough, the extra bucks back were good enough, that it made it absolutely stupid for me not to do it because of how huge of a moneymaker it was. Okay, so I did split my transactions up this time. I was literally in and out of the store in like 20 minutes because I had everything pre-planned. I had everything paper clipped together, all the coupons I was going to use. But because I have been trying to do like one big transaction and like just hitting snags and things like that, I decided let me try today if I separate them and make them smaller, that way I'm going to know right away if something doesn't come off or if there's an issue. So this right here was the first transaction I did. Three products, five products total, okay? First of all, I was super excited. I have never tried this and this was one of my favorite things. Do you love it when you get to buy new things? Like I love couponing because we get to buy new things to try for so much cheaper than paying full price and it's just so fun to be able to try new products. Okay, so first of all, I had some insane CRTs for this, which made this a humongous moneymaker. I'm not talking a dollar moneymaker. Let's just go over it. All right, so L'Oreal is spend 30, get a $10 extra buck. I picked up the Age Perfect um, Night Balm Moisturizer. That was $21.49. The L'Oreal Cleanser was $8.29. So I spent $29.78. My store follows the 98% rule. And how you figure that out is just do 30, multiply it times 0.98. So I needed to spend $29.40 to be able to qualify to get that $10 extra buck. So I spent $29.78. I had a $2 manufacturer coupon for any skincare item that came out in the 4-5 Retail Me Not. I also had a coupon on my app that I didn't realize I had. So I actually had $4 in manufacturer coupons. That's all I had for these products right here. All the rest of them were CRTs. I got a $6 CRT off of any age perfect I got a, I had a $5 instant coupon that everybody got last week at the coupon center for L'Oreal Cosmetics, Facial Care, or Maybelline. I had a $5 off CRT for moisturizer, which I had sent to my card last week. And I had a $10 off when you spend 30 on L'Oreal Cosmetics or Facial Care. So you guys, that brought my total down to and I will show you on my receipt, my $5 moisturizing CRT did come off, but it adjusted down. So it brought my total down to $1.82 for these two products. We started at 
$1.82 and I got back a $10 extra buck, making that an $8.18 moneymaker. OMG. The St. Ives are on special or they're on promotion for buy three, get a $5 extra buck. They were $5.19 each. I had a $1.50 digital coupon in the app for any St. Ives product. I had a $2 CRT off of any St. Ives body wash. And then I had a three off of 12 any body wash, bringing that down to $9.07. And I got back five. So final cost of $4.07 or $1.35 each. So let's take a look at the receipt. So $5.19 for each one of the St. Ives. The um, L'Oreal cleanser was $8.29 and the moisturizer was $21.49. Gave her the $2 coupon and then the $2 app coupon came off. $1.50, or not app coupon, digital coupon. $1.50 digital coupon for the St. Ives. My $10 off 30 on L'Oreal, um, any facial care or cosmetics. $6 off of the Age Perfect CRT. $5 off instant coupon. $5 off for the moisturizer, which adjusted down to $2.96 and $3 off 12 body wash, $2 off St. Ives body wash, and then I gave her $10 in extra bucks to pay. My subtotal was $2.89. I got back $15 in extra bucks on this transaction. So I paid $10.89, got back 15, which I can't show you because I rolled it into another transaction. <laughs> So absolutely humongous moneymaker on the L'Oreal for me this week. And you guys, I have been asked um, for a printable breakdown. So I am putting one in the description box for you. Let me know if it's helpful because it did take me a little while to do it. I don't have a computer. I only have my cell phone. Um, so I did it on my cell phone. I'm going to pop it into the description box if you want to open it up or print it so that you can, if you like to look at things, um, you know, if that makes it easier for you. So let me know if it's helpful and I will keep on doing it. All right. Transaction number two, huge money maker again. All right. So I had that $10 off when you spend 35. So Maybelline is buy one, get one half price. And it is buy two, get a $5 extra buck this week. And the Garnier is buy two, get a $5 extra buck. It is also buy one, get one half price as well. So the weird thing is you would think that they would take the higher price item and then make the lower price item half off, but that's not what happened. It actually did full price on one mascara, half price on one mascara, full price on one mascara, half price on one lipstick, full price, half price. It still ended up working out fine, but basically the mascaras were $7.79 each and the lipsticks were $7.59 each, I think, 49 cents each. So total that I paid for all four of those, oh, I wrote it down wrong because I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking that it adjusted all of those to half and it didn't. So it's actually, I think $34.04. I will pop it up on the screen. So $34.04, I used $9 in manufacturer coupons that came out in our four or five retail me not for the mascara, $3 off each one and $2 off of each lipstick. So, and I had a dollar app only coupon for the mascara and then used my $10 off 35. You guys, that brought my total down to $8.44. Those numbers might be off a few cents. They will be correct in the printable breakdown for you. I got back $15 and making that a $6.56 money maker. That's why we pick up these things. I don't care if I hate this mascara. I don't care if I hate that lipstick. It made me money to be able to pay for these things over here. So that's why we pick up these things sometimes. The um, cleansing makeup remover wipes. Those are buy two, get a $5 extra buck. I already told you that. One was $7.59, one was $3.79, so $11.38. I used a $2 off manufacturer coupon off of one from our four or five retail me not, and then I had a dollar digital coupon off of any Garnier facial care. And then I had two $3 off my seller cleansing water 
CRTs that both came off. I thought one of them was gonna adjust down a little bit, but it didn't. So here's my receipt. There is the Maybelline mascara at full price, Maybelline mascara at half price, Maybelline mascara at full price, Maybelline half price, lipstick at full price, lipstick at half price, and then my cleansing wipes, one at full price, one at half price. There is my $2 off um, of the Garnier, $3 off, three of them for the mascara, $2 off, three of them for the lipstick, $1 digital coupon, my $10 off of $35 on Maybelline, my $3 off of the um, my cellar water, and another $3 off. I sent one to my card, and it came off just fine. And then my dollar Apple Link coupon, I gave her $9 in extra bucks to pay. My subtotal was $1.82. I got back $15 for the Maybelline, and I got back $5 for the Garnier. So I got back $20 freaking dollars on this one and I paid $10.82. Humongous money maker. Oh my gosh. Okay. Moving on to transaction number three. I wanted to do the household deal basically, I guess I'll call it, which is the spend 20, earn $5. And then I added a couple other things to it. So there's a few different things. I'll pop a picture up on the screen, um, but there's a few different things included in the household deal. Um, but I chose the Pantene, the Tide Pods, and the Always. And that brought me to, hang on, I just dropped my paper. That brought me to $23.97. I did go ahead and pick up the L'Oreal L Vive, which is buy two, get a $5 extra buck because I wanted to combine a $3 off 12 hair care. I also picked up the Summer's Eve Cleansing Cloth. No coupon on this. This was buy one, get one half off. And when you buy two, you get a $3 extra buck. And then I picked up some cereal. Nothing back on that, but did get an amazing deal on that. So for my spend 20, earn five, I had a $3 digital coupon for the Pantene. I had a $2 digital coupon for the Tide and a dollar app only coupon for the Tide. I had a $4 um, manufacturer coupon from our four or five retail me not for the L Vive. And I had a $3 from our April PNG for the always, and the always are buy one, get one half price. So that brought my total down to $13.95 for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 items right here. And then I got back $9 in extra bucks, five for the spend 20, get five, and $4 for the L'Oreal L5. So that made that a final cost of $4.95 or just 62 cents each, OMG. These again, buy one, get one half off. Total was $5.68, no coupons, but I got back $3 in extra bucks. So making that a final cost of $2.68 or just $1.34 each. The cereal on sale, General Mills, select cereal on sale, $1.99 each. I had a $2 off of any four boxes. It will be in the description box what insert it came out in, I can't remember. I had a 50 cent app only coupon for the General Mills cereal and I had a $2 off of when you spend eight on breakfast items CRT, bringing that down to $3.46 or just 86 cents each. Oh my gosh. Like seriously, I swear, this is my favorite. It's my favorite. Let's go over the receipt real quick. All right, so there's the Pantene, three for 12. There is the cereal, $1.99 each, four of them. The Tide Pods, the Summer's Eve Cleansing Wipes, one at $3.79 and one at 50% off. The Always, $4.69 and one at 50% off. And then the L'Oreal L5, $4.99 and then one at half price, $2.49. So I used a $4 off for the L'Oreal L5 $3 off for the Always, $2 off for the General Mills cereal. There's my digital for Pantene, $3 off. There's my digital for Tide, $2 off. I had a three off 15 hair care, two off eight breakfast, $1 off of six, I forgot to say that, on um, Feminine Care CRT, dollar app only Tide coupon, 50 cent app only General Mills coupon, and 50 cent app only Always coupon. I only send my app only coupons to my card once I know I'm gonna use them because once you send them to your card, they expire in seven days. 
which has sometimes gotten me in trouble because I forget to do it. But today I remembered all of them. Yay. So I gave her $19. I gave her $15 that I had previously earned from my very first transaction and $4 that I already had. And my subtotal was $4.09. I'm using all gift cards to pay for all of this. So there's the remaining balance on my gift card that I used. And I got back $5 for the Spend 20, Earn 5, $3 for the Summer's Eve, and $4 for the L5. All right, last and final transaction. I did the Dial Right Guard deal and added in a couple other things. So this deal is Spend 25, Earn $7. So I picked up four of the Right Guards. They are on sale two for eight. I picked up two of the Dial Body Wash on sale two for seven and two of the Dial Bar Soap Pack. Super excited to find that. The antibacterial ones, those are on sale two for four. I had a BOGO coupon. I, it will be in the description box where it came from because I can't remember. So that took $8 off of four of those. I had a $2 off one Dial Body Wash coupon. I also had a digital coupon that was $2 off two in the app that came off as well, even though I wasn't expecting it to. No coupon for the um, bar soap. So those products totaled me $27. After coupons, it brought it and CRTs. It, I had a $2 off six um, body wash CRT that I used on this one for the dial body wash. So that brought it down to um, $13. I got back seven, making it a final cost of six or just 75 cents each for those products. Super excited about that. I found the Kleenex wet wipes again, the germ removal ones, no promotion, not on sale, but I did pick them up. They were $2.49 each. I had a 50 cent off manufacturer coupon off of each one and a 50 cent app only coupon. And then I did pick up the Revlon eyelash curler because I had two CRTs that made it totally free. Um, so I did go ahead and pick it up. I was going to pick up like nail clippers or something, but I couldn't find them. So let's go over my receipt. So there is the right guard two for eight, right guard two for eight, the dial bar soap two for four, the dial body wash two for seven, and then my Kleenex at $2.49 each, and then the eyelash curler at $6.49. So there's my Kleenex coupons for 50 cents off each, my Dial coupon for $2 off, my BOGO coupon on the right guard for $4 off. There's my digital that came off. I can't believe it did, but it did. Sometimes the digitals when it's off too, just glitch. Um, I had a $4 instant coupon off of any Revlon product from last week. And then I had a $3 off any Revlon skincare or beauty tools that did adjust down to just make that free. And then my two off six body wash. My subtotal was $16.98. I could have used my extra bucks to pay, but I still had my gift card. So I did go ahead and use my gift card and exhausted it and had to pay $1.35 cash out of pocket, which basically was for my tax. And I did get back my $7 extra buck. So that is what we have, $174. Let me give you all my final numbers. $174.73 in product here. I had $50.50 in manufacturer coupons. I had $59.45 in CRTs. And I had $3 in app only coupons. So from $174.73, that brought it down to $61. 178. I started with $23 in extra bucks and $6.37 on a cash card. Then I also had a gift card from Ibotta, I think is what I cashed out to. If you are not using rebate apps, you need to be using rebate apps. Fest Rewards and Ibotta, those are where I cash out my gift cards so that I'm not paying out of pocket at CVS. It will help cover your taxes or anything like that. That's how I get away with paying $1.35 cash out of pocket for $174 in products. I will leave my referral links in the description box. If you are not signed up with either Fetch Reward or Ibotta, I highly, highly recommend it. So I used, between the extra bucks I had and the cash card that I had, and some extra bucks that I rolled from the first transaction. I used 
$38 and I used $23.78 from my gift card. I actually used my gift card up, but I'm not counting tax here. So I started with $23 in extra bucks, $6.37 in the cash card from CVS that I had previously earned. That was what was left. And used $17.41 from a gift card from Ibotta. So that was $46.78. I am ending with $39 in extra care bucks. And I spent $101.57 in beauty. So within 48 hours, I will get back another $9 in beauty bucks. So I'll be ending with $48, but spent $46.78, making that totally free plus a dollar and 22 cent moneymaker. OMG, no snags, no hiccups. Everything came off perfectly great. I literally paid $1.35 cash out of pocket, which was for my tax. I am so pleased, so happy about this transaction. Again, there will be a printable list in the description box if you want to check it out. Breaking the transactions up worked just way better, which is how I've always done it so that it doesn't get confusing, so the system doesn't get overloaded with coupons, and I was in and out super duper quick. All right, I hope you get some value out of this. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And I would love for you to enter into our gift card giveaway. So I already went over that in the beginning of how you can enter. All right, that's what I got for you today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again soon. Bye.